When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. Come on, everybody sing now. When the I want to introduce our act for tonight. Let's put our hands together for the singing cousins, Russ McQueen and Joe Scuderi. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Hey, Jimmy, we should have had you use my real name, Moschetto. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no relation to the junkyard. No. Always have to figure that. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Any birthdays? Anniversaries, divorces, anything. We'll, we'll celebrate anything. We'll celebrate anything, celebrate. right, Joanne? <laughs> All right, now, if you, the first couple that gets on the dance floor, which is where those people are standing, right on the street, the first couple gets a trip to Hawaii. Massachusetts.
I see Chucky. Chucky's here. All right, come on, everybody, everybody sway now. That's right. All you folks in the chairs over here, look at those bubbles here.
Glenn Miller play. Songs that made the hit parade. Guys like us, we had it made. Those were the days. <laughs> and you knew when you were a man. Men were men and men. Mr. We could use a man like a man who Now we're taking a trip to New Hampshire. Come on. <laughs> no laughing about New Hampshire. Green Acres is the place for me. Farm living is the life for me. Land spread out so far and wide. Forget Manhattan. Give me the countryside. New York is me right now. He has his eyes on you. The chores. The snores. Fresh air. Times Square. You are my wife. Oh no. Goodbye, city life. Green acres, we are there. All right. If this is why, Hobie, my friend Hobie Sanford is here today. Remember this one? A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to this horse, of course. That is a master man, of course, the famous Mr. Red. Go right to the source and ask the horse, he'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course, talk to Mr. Red. Big boy, yakety yak, a shrink, and wait the time of day. But Mr. Red will never talk unless he's got something to say. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Yank it for the horse, of course. Of course. You never heard of a talking horse? Uh -huh. Well, listen to this. I am Mr. Ed. Now, those were TV shows, right, kids? How many people remember those shows? Come on, that's right now. Oh, but now you know what you have, and I drive my wife crazy with this one. Absolutely nuts, because she watches the cooking channel. So you get these guys standing like this. Yeah, we're gonna go make cupcakes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> she said, you don't understand. I said, I understand all. Anyway. All right. So we have no birthdays out there? Dude, what's the end of the summer, isn't it, Joey? He's got a birthday? Peter, you don't have a birthday, do you? No. Who else has a birthday? Anybody have a birthday? Way down there. Way, way down there. Right over here. Right over here. That young lady, the one that won the trip to Hawaii. <laughs> All right, come on, clap your hands now, come on. Sing it to him. You come on like a dream, a beach is a green, lips like strawberry wine. You're 16, you're beautiful, and you're mine. You're all ribbons and curls, ooh, what a girl. Eyes that sparkle and <laughs> shine. You're 16. Beautiful in your mind. You're my baby and you're my pet. We fell in love on the night we met. You touched my head, my heart was <laughs> Oh, is he ugly or what? We could not stop. You came out of my dreams and into my life. And now you're my hey, Watch out, Santa Claus. He wants a new Mercedes. You're beautiful, and you're mine. I'm telling you, Santa Claus is here. You, got... you know, Santa Claus, they're advertising Christmas already. It's not even September. 
Is the world going that fast? Huh, Dave? You're my angel and you're my pen. We put a bell on the night we met. You touch my hand and my heart went pop. Ooh, when we kissed, we could not stop. You came out of my dreams and into my life. And now you're <laughs> HD Vine. You're 16. You ain't you're beautiful, beautiful and you're mine. You're 16. You're, you're beautiful. beautiful. You know, the least you could do is shave when you do a show. I did shave. Razors have been banned in his house for years. You're 16. You're beautiful and you're mine. I gotta tell you, tell you about a little trip I had to Boston a couple of weeks ago. Joey, I, I haven't even told you about it yet. You, you told me. That I went to, went down the north, you know, the north end. The north end of Boston. Yeah, you know what I saw a lot of over there? Italians. You saw a lot of a Italians. A lot of Italians in the north end. What of an amazing discovery! It, it was amazing. The other thing I saw a lot of statues of Paul Revere. You did? Yes, Paul Revere. Was he riding his horse? He was riding his horse. Did he look like this? I, wa I was going to ask you because you know everything. I do? Oh, wow, that's good. Is, is Paul Revere Italian? Well, I'm not exactly sure. It could have been on my mother's uncle, sister-in-law's uh, mother. No, he wasn't Italian. He wasn't Italian? No, but his horse was. His horse was. All right, come on, everybody. Do you know how to do this? Well, that is it. True story to tell you. Don't believe them. I was born up and brought up in North Andover on a farm, flower shop, salt Sicilians, and that's right. And every Sunday, all the family came over. Now here we go. And they made chicken and pasta bono. They made all the good stuff. Then the wine came out. The wine. 
and the wine, then the guitars oh, and the banjos and the violins came out. And they lived right over here on Garden Street. My aunt, and Uncle Rose and Angelo. Rose and Angelo. That's right. That's right. Rose and Angelo Puglisia. They would. We get them. To, and Rose was not a small woman, if you no, know what no. I'm saying. Did you? But she could do that town to town. So her and Uncle Angelo, we got them every Sunday. Come on, get up and dance, you know. And, and in those days, they Aunt had, Mary was there. She remembers right. right. Oh, hey, oh, hey. We were all drinking wine in those days. That's what absolutely. So one day they, they, they were coming over, it was an Easter Sunday, I'll never forget it, and they had had a fight on the way over, we didn't know about it until they started dancing. So, because we were all saying, come on out here, uncle, get up, get, get up, up, dance. Get up. Thanks. So Joey Thanks. and I are going to show you what they look like, they had a fight. drum machine. Somebody would have been to me. But I learned how to swim and I learned to was a 
lot of people living in a little town love. A lot of people living in a little town love. Everybody give me an E ha! have to say these words in Italian. Senza scappe. Senza scappe. Okay? I would have said senza gauzi, but there's kids over here. <laughs> look. That, look, he understands right over there. Look at him. Yeah, he's there. Look at him, man. Me you sheep. To your tent, I will greet since this sky fell with the stars.
solo cenno di Roma, alla nemmeno in Roma, alla nemmeno in Roma. That's what we're gonna do right now. That's right. We're gonna do that. But first, you say I have to sing about the femina. Mala femina. Come on, everybody, do this. Come on, make me feel at home over here. Are you all Sicilians? Are there any non-Sicilians here? No, no. You better get initiated quick. <laughs> that, all it takes is a shot of Zambuca and you are so, so. <laughs> Right, Joey? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I prefer Amaretto myself. Oh, you do? I wish I could translate this song for you, but anyway. Everybody 
everybody sing. What time? La 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 la. Come on, Ray. La 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 la. a trip to Hawaii, $100,000 in cash, a new car, a new husband. <laughs> disguise that we bought in Rome. You may get hired by one of these places. Song's almost over. When I save the wedding bells for my reason. Come on now. They're going out for snack for crying out loud. These people. It's great. This is why we got thrown out of Rome, folks. We were ex we were excommunicated. They sent us to the to the I call him Frank now because he's a friend of mine. Put the pole, you know, Frank. He says, get out. <laughs> you always have trouble with side birds, don't you? They go all in the they wrong go, place. They're, they're <laughs> oh my God. Guys, doesn't he look handsome? 
Yes, he does. You look very sexy. Sulla cella, ragazzi, andava lì. Stasera la cucina, dopo fino a 